All right, this is called, I guess it's called the Fear Ghost. Um, it will be printed, it is being printed in ABS filament right now. And it will be sitting on top of a box. So what's going to happen is this will be mounted to the top of a box and the cape part here will be draped over the front of the box so that you could take the lid off and the the body portion will be attached to the lid and the cape the lower cape right here hanging down will be attached to the bottom half of the box anyway I'll show that to you when it uh, gets further along so let's go ahead and look at the print or the printer right now so we'll come over here and basically you can see this is how it's how far along it is uh, it has about 20 minutes left. This is now currently being printed as you see it. Okay. What's unusual about this print compared to my earlier PLA prints is that this is ABS. This is printing. Let's go ahead and uh, look at the uh, sticker here on the, uh, on the spool right there. It indicates ABS plus right there. Um, printing at about 245. That's what it recommends, um, which is fine. Uh, I tend not to really look at that. I see how much and how well the filament is extruding uh, to determine the temperature that I use. And currently it's at 245. And you see there the set point of the bed. Check that out for yourself right there. I don't know if you can see it. See, it says zero. That's the set point. That's the temperature of the bed right now. So it's the temperature of the room. 28 Celsius. All right. So this is open air. You can see that for yourself. It is ABS printing right now at 245 Celsius. There is a fan located there in the back. It has a hood, kind of a shroud, right here, pulling air from this location. So there is a bit of a draft here. It doesn't matter, as you can see. It's pretty clean right now. There's no cracks, no warping, no breaking apart or anything like that that some users tend to have with uh, ABS. Um, you can see this is the nozzle. This is this is the nozzle right here. It came out of the box about four and a half years ago. No electronic gizmo here because it's not needed. Basically, I just use the paper filler gauge. And the reason the electronic gizmo isn't needed for uh, compensating for highs and lows is because I'm printing on a mirror tile. This is mirror tile. So it's known to be flat. And then once you leveled it, it's not only flat, it's level. So tramming is taken care of. Tramming is both distance and level. Since the bed is flat all the way around and I, I tram the surface, the print surface with these knobs under here using the original springs. These springs came with the printer because I have no reason to change it. Just because someone says, oh, you got to change to solid chunks of rubber or the yellow, uh, uh, more uh, rigid, yellow springs it's just not needed when you set the printer up as it was designed from the factory so right now we're, we're printing abs this is going to be finished here really shortly now here it's just doing the top of the head and it's clean there's no warping no separation no brim if you've watched any of my other videos it shows the same thing so there's no need to really study this because all of my printers are set up the same way. The only thing different about printing higher temp filament is I've added this. So I added these two items right here, not the coupler that came with it. This ring right here, this little uh, spacer and this blue tube was added to the heat sink area right here. So basically this is what's in between the white Bowden tube and the hot nozzle. 
that's my heat print rate right there. That, that allows me to print ABS or any higher temp filament such as PETG. Uh, but this is how I do it. I'm not showing this is the ultimate way to do it. This is how I do it. So it's printing right now as you see it. Okay, so you see there's going to be a nozzle. The blue uh, spacer, this is actually keeping the white portion of the uh, Bowden tube off the hot nozzle, nozzle. So since the coupler is pinching this little spacer and that blue tube in between these two because it's threaded, they're pinching it firmly so no filament can ooze out. That's the trick. That's how it works. So you don't have to worry about the white Bowden tube being pinched or, or pushed or pressed against the hot nozzle anymore and then having to worry about retractions pulling it away from the nozzle because this tube is up here now so there is no uh, uh, blue tube retraction it stays in the same place the filament still retracts like it's supposed to but it's not pulling on the Bowden tube pulling it away from the hot nozzle anyway it's kind of hard to explain but for those that are already doing this they understand how this works and it's working right now as you see it these are what were printed before these are in the last few days these are hands from are called the thing there are three right-handed ones and one left-handed one okay so that would be this one right here so these are all printed in ABS using this method this is the only thing that's been added not modified it, it prints exactly the same way it's just allowing me to put a higher temperature on the nozzle so that I can run higher temp filament. That's all it's doing. It's printing exactly the same. It's not an upgrade. It's a, it's a user's preference. It, these two items can be removed at any time. So it's not a permanent change to the printer at all. So there you go. Happy printing. And again, I'm not trying to compete or create a, a debate or anything like that, but this is how I do it, and this is how it's being done and right now in video. You can see it for yourself. So the next thing I'm going to print after this, because there's no clogging or anything, it's, it's going to continue to print until it's done. When it's complete, I'll remove this from the plate and then start the, uh, the box. Or actually, I guess I could do the box. I could do the lid, which this will sit on top of, or I could do the box. I think I'll probably do the box, just for shits and giggles. And of course the lid and then the uh, cloak here, the part will be hanging over the, the uh, box uh, as well. All right, that's it. It's easy. This printer's working for me, not against me.